Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the whole demo of the project service level agreement for the distributed mutual exclusion in cloud computing. In this paper, we have a discussion about the service level agreement between the client and the provider. The service level agreement is a part of a service contract level of service formally defined in here and then the term of SLA is defined sometimes to refer the contact delivery between of the services and the performance range in the cloud and computing provides the unique combination of business driven applications uh, scenarios and then advanced research in the area of service level agreements uh, for the clouds and the service oriented infrastructures our aim is to improve the critical section execution rate and then reduce the number of SLA violations the basically it can recover by the first uh, priority inversions of the our algorithm and then the number of requests is which is whose deadline is respected first it can be declined from the second algorithm the performance evaluation result shown our uh, solutions significantly reduces to the SLA violations avoiding the messages overhead Now we are going to see the project flow of the service level mutual of exclusion. Here we have to share the resources and initialize the client who are all getting the request first. After that, after res the resource for what the resource is can, can also be declined here. And then after the resource and the request is proceeded to the request registration for the uh, no deadline for the user request. And then after the request is uh, received, it can be tokenized. Uh, token can be produced for the every users, uh, and then for the based on the time uh, they requested. After that, it depends on the token rate port address and assign those requests. Uh, after the depends on the token rate, the port address can be declined for the every request as a. Uh, uh, the token can be issued means the process can be came for the forwarding process for the request also of the service provider who depends on the issued token and then the service can be provided uh, depend uh, provided a response for the request in the distributed mutual exclusion rating here up, here up to this we have concluded the forwarding of the requested to the cloud process after that now we are going to see about the whole demo of the process here okay. first of all we give uh, some details for the share our share the cloud resources first of all i give a name and then country for the particular person and yeah likewise i give some details and then when the resource is needed for the particular person i give immediate response immediate response means it's four hours and after that click send request the request can be sent after that sorry after that the again the user registration window will come Cl uh, again give a new name for the user another user is also required the same application of resources here give a second name of I give and then country where <coughs> after that the time zone is automatically updated and then click resource and then requirement for the resource when they needed I give the immediate response again and then send the request the request can be sent after that after that click after that click next click the availability for showing the all lists and then click proceed again assign the port for the every users requesters after that click ok and then click port address the port address is assigned for every project, every resources. After that, click next. So the local validation of controller, the pro whole request can be come comes to the local validator. It gives the action of taken 
இந்த வி ஹாவ் சூஸ் அண்ட் இமீடியட் இமீடியட் ஹியர் த லோக்கல் வேலிடேஷன் ப்ராசஸ் ஃபார் த எவ்ரி ரெக்வஸ்ட் இஸ் ப்ரொசீடர் கிளிக் ஹியர் டு அண்ட் சூஸ் த இமீடியட் ஃபோர் ஹவர்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஓன்லி டிலே டைம் வி ஹாவ் வி ஹாவ் அ ஷெடியூல் ஃபார் திஸ் ஒன்லி திஸ் ரெக்கொயர்மெண்ட் ஷெடியூல் ஒன்லி அண்ட் தென் சூஸ் ஆஃப்டர் சூஸிங் த ஆக்ஷன் டேக்கன் த கிளிக் கண்ட்ரோலர் கிளிக் கண்ட்ரோலர் மீன்ஸ் இட் கம்ஸ் டு த token is token what are the tokens we should it can be comes we have a uh, number 1 token we have we should proceed for that sending time after that first uh, beyond the virtual machine here wait on the server after run the the vmware as a cloud service provider and then click receive here if the cloud service provider is waiting for the request after that send it to send the request cloud service provider come to the local host and click the receiving time after that click res- forward and then the request is proceeded means after that still the waiting for the uh, click receive after that wait for the cloud service and then it can response for the request means the user id and the and then come to the cloud environment and then if the request is received by the cloud server means the service provider receives the user name and then port address uh, details and we, we should give the uh, the local host is waiting for the receiving response click response and then give the response for this particular user id and then uh, through the port address after receive the all files of uh, all files for the resp- uh, for the request as click next here we show the shared resources received from the cloud service provider click the resource and what are the files received in the where the location is defined here and then in this we have uh, two files uh, one is the two client request name in the name of the two client requesters after that we forward this uh, to the requesters click next and then variations between the two server uh, two users or requesters first and then the variations between the first user and the second user this is a timing and then average between the every users is defined here in the millisecond rate thank you